What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, I want to talk to you about SoFi. I want to go over some expectations for this upcoming week, what might cause volatility in the stock price, and where I see things going. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with that said, let's get right to it. So starting off, it is a shorter week. So Monday is a holiday. Happy Memorial Day to a lot of the, or I guess all the Americans out there. Have a good weekend and all the other fun jazz. But for the rest of the week, you do have a lot of Fed speakers, no hot topics. So unless one of them goes off topic and starts talking on interest rates or how they potentially might be raising them, that might be some concern. But aside from that, generally, it's going to be quiet for that. Thursday and Friday, so Thursday you have GDP, and then on Friday you have PCE. So previously when the Fed said that they're going to be watching the data points, is basically that alongside consumer linked data and that's coming out the following week so a lot of people are going to be watching those two data points again coming out on thursday and friday and people are going to instantly correlate that with interest rates so previously this last week uh, city and i believe jp morgan did say that september most likely will be the next rate cut the one and only rate cut in 2024 currently there's a 44.9 percent likelihood that there is going to be a rate cut so again just watch the data points that's going to move the market so what is going to happen up until Thursday when GDP comes out is going to be more of a technical driven week. So in reality, that should really help SoFi and a lot of other stocks, despite the fear and greed index being at 53, which technically is under the neutral category right here, but still enough that obviously it could cause a nice bump up in some stocks. So let's get right to it though. SoFi, there isn't anything planned for this week, so they're not participating in any conferences, nothing really planned. So again, it's just gonna piggyback off of the broader market as it has been for this last couple of weeks, aside from their recent earnings. But in SoFi's case, like I said, when it comes down to a technical driven week, aside from GDP and PCE, this is where things get interesting. SoFi has been very much heavily manipulated in the past by market makers and shorts. Shorts did return about 31,000 shares on Friday, but 16.54% of the free float is being shorted. That works out to be 171.85 million shares overall are being shorted. So in reality, shorts always like to really manipulate SoFi for it to close below one of the strike prices. And that's been more of a common occurrence for the last three months, every time it closes anywhere remotely or is remotely close to a strike price, it automatically just gets pushed down. As you can kind of see from the intraday from Friday, it just tried to get above that seven because for instance, if you guys don't know options, if it closes at that strike price or above, then technically it is considered in the money. So if it closed at exactly $7, then market makers would have to go on the open market and cover that, which technically would be roughly uh, right here. So 24,000 in open interest. They don't want to do that. So they'd rather just suppress it. And yeah, that's ultimately what did happen. So in reality, for this upcoming week, you can kind of already see a wall being built at that $7 strike price. So 13,000 at the seven, 20,000 at the 750, and 17,000 at the eight. And usually the first day of the market open so obviously Tuesday because Monday is a holiday you do see it go up roughly by 30 40 percent so in reality you might have another tentative wall being created at seven so despite this week especially like I said more of a technical driven week being somewhat optimistic and a lot of stocks will probably go up as a result of that in SoFi's case, you might also have a lot of suppression at the same time. So you're gonna see the market going up and then you're gonna see SoFi just being stagnant as what it has been. It is very, very frustrating, like massively frustrating because you see every other FinTech go up. You see every other garbage stock go up. SoFi, which hits home run earnings, profitable at this stage of the game and is estimated to continue to be profitable they get suppressed. So it is very frustrating. And so yeah, in reality, this week, you're going to have a lot of volatility, a lot of give and take. And even when it comes to a lot of the strong support and resistance points, $6.91 will be that next strong support. If that does fail to hold, this is where it could hit that 667. So that would be the next strong support, which would be kind of crazy to think of. But then again, if it does get to that 667, you might start to see walls being built. 
at that 650. Probably not for this upcoming week, so the expiring on May the 31st. Rather, it probably would be for the June the 7th. But still, uh, SoFi does need some institutions to really get behind it and add good support levels and just hopefully push it to the $7 range. Once it is able to close above the $7 range, then all it'll take is just a small little push for it to be $7.50, eight, and get back to the realistic price, what I think a lot of us do feel it should be at least $9 plus. But this week is going to be a lot of volatility despite there not being much happening in the broader market. So it's going to be another interesting week because it's going to be the battle of the seven dollars. And yeah, that's actually a very good title for my thumbnail. Battle of the seven dollars. So what do you guys think? Do you think SoFi is going to be able to close above seven dollars for this upcoming week? Or do you think it is going to be another week where it does get suppressed? Where it closes between this S2 and this S1 once again. Um, so SoFi has really done that over this last little bit. Even if you kind of zoom out, I don't know if this chart will show it instantly, but technically for a lot of Fridays, you always get this like manipulation where it just gets pushed down, and then Monday you kind of inch back up, and then once again Fridays, it's just more of a rinse and repeat. And like I said, it is adding a lot of frustration. You can kind of tell that based on a lot of the OG investors, even myself just covering it. Like I know SoFi is going to do a lot of good things in the future and it should be at least, like I said, $9 plus, but to see it constantly getting pushed below $7 and a lot of these artificially done resistance levels is just bullshit. So let me know your thoughts on SoFi, but technically, like I've said in the past, with a lot of volatility, that is a option trader's dream. So you can always sell covered calls, you can always technically sell puts, you can do a lot of things to take advantage of the volatility, get some additional premiums coming in. Like even for instance, last Friday, on Friday, I just sold $7 calls. And because I knew in reality, SoFi was going to struggle with that $7 range once again, as what it typically does. And you know what, it wasn't that much money, but it does bring in some money. So for those of you that have a lot of shares you can always do a lot of covered calls and whatever else so let me know your thoughts on SoFi. don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe hopefully everyone's having a amazing weekend or long weekend for those of you that uh, are in the states but with all that said i appreciate all of you watching <music>